Praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. Hallelujah. Where we honor God, we uh, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. We want to welcome all our NBC families, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has a word for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Today we're going to be talking about praise. Amen. Amen. Yeah. About praising Him. We need yes. to we need to get into this more. We need to learn this well, Amen. Because He wants us to praise Him, Amen. amen. And some of us, uh, uh, let me see how I wrote it. Some of us praise the world more than we praise our God. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we we need to stop this. We need to reverse this. You know, just like we always magnifying our problems more than we magnify our God. Right. You know, we forget we have a God. We have <laughs> He was sacrifice for us amen so we need to remember to praise him and amen. let's learn let's learn if you've never learned now's the time that you know yes. we're to praise him you know if we're going to spend time in heaven <laughs> with him we're going to learn we better know how to praise him amen so i'm excited i hope yes. you're excited amen yeah. so grab your bibles and let's make this declaration together before we get into our message amen hallelujah Woo, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be trying to order God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thanks, God. If you're not excited, it's about time you got excited. Amen. We get excited for all kind of worldly things. Amen. We always talk about this. You know, we were just talking about this tailgate parties and all all the games you know and uh some people don't want to praise him you know say well you know praise is not part of me i'll just come join service after praise and worship uh -uh. you know <laughs> when you go to a ball game you got tailgate parties that means you're partying before the game you're yeah. partying during the game and you're gonna party after the game yeah, yeah. amen so <laughs> we gotta stop worshiping stop praising the world more than we praise our god yeah, amen. Yeah, so it. praise god amen Amen. Yes, listen, I just want to let you know God's not finished with you. He didn't put you here to be a loser. He put you here to be a winner. Amen. Amen. He put you here to be a champion. He put you here to be an overcomer. You just got to stop running and just say, Lord, I repent. I repent. Yes, amen. <laughs> Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And start doing for him. Amen. First of all, praise him. Thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus. Jesus was sacrificed. Amen. And that means that I can have salvation. And I can live in heaven. Amen. So if you're going to live in heaven, you better learn how to praise him now. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Woo! He's got great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. Yes, Here's yes. the thing is, we got to make ourselves available. Yes. we got to participate. we got to be participators and not just spectators. Right. You know, you don't come just to sit in service, you know, and spectate. You never yes. receive anything. Right. You know, you're still going to be down and out. You're still going to be defeated. Uh -huh. Amen. I mean, you got to get into it. And you right. got to receive it, you know, and get it. Praise Him, you know, and get into the Word and let the Word come in and do what it needs to do. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you got to do all this. If not, you know, you just, just because you came and sat in service, it's not going to make you a, a champion or a winner. That's right. You, you got to get into the Word and, you know, Feed on the word and let that word give you that stirred up power that God has got in you. He says, you got to stir it up. It's in you. Yeah. I got to read you this nugget right here. Amen. It says like this. Stir up the power of God. That power is in you. Everything is in you right. that is given you mm -hmm. to fulfill what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. But it's in you. You got you got to stir it up and, and, and press on with him. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to be defeated. And That's it's it. not his fault. He sacrificed his son. Jesus gave his best. Now we got to give our best. Mm -hmm. And your best is to say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now I'm going to go and do for you. Make yourself available. Amen. Yeah. He's not going to force you to get off your behind, you know, oh, to go right, and do okay. so for him. Amen. You got to get off your little comfy areas. You got to get out of your behind, off your behind and press on with him. It says, if you feel empty, if you don't feel you have what it takes. It's not his fault. It's your fault. Yeah, yeah, you got to get in the word and dig in the word and feed on the word. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
If you don't, you ain't going to have it. When you get in the word, it says, out of your innermost beings is going to flow rivers of living water. The truth is going to come out. You're going to speak it, you know? Yes. Not and you got to speak it out, you know, just get it in you. You got to yeah. speak it out. Amen. Yeah. Says you got to stir the gift inside of you. Yeah. Everything you ever needed to accomplish what God has called you to do has been placed inside of you. Oh. But only you can do the stirring up. Yeah. Faith yeah. is in you. Power is in you. Love is in you. Jesus is in you. He says your temple or your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It's in you. But you got to do the stirring up. Yes. Yeah. I can't yeah. do it for you. That's it. I can encourage you. But I can't stir it up in you, you know. You yeah, gotta yeah. stir it up yourself, you and you know you gotta get up as a as a warrior for God, yeah. Amen. And press on and do yeah. like little David did, you know. Those giants that you're coming against, yeah, man, you're gonna need the greater one in you, oh, and no, he's there no, to no, back no, you up no, no, no. if you yeah. press out and step out in faith. Otherwise, you're gonna be defeated and you're gonna be in fear. All your time, all your life, Amen. Mm -hmm. It's time to stir it up. That power, the love, the uh, Jesus, all these are in you. Yes. Amen. You stir it up. In the name of Jesus, says, I stir up that gift that is within me by faith. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to press on. I'm going to do it. Amen. Amen. You got to do it. Amen. You can do it. Mm -hmm. So praise God. The Bible says that you can do some things through Christ. All things. You, know, you can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. Well, guess what? <laughs> He's there for you. He's your strength. Amen. So praise God. Praise Him. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. you I, hope, I hope you get it. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So let's, uh, let's get ready. We're going to be talking about praise. Amen. I've had people tell me this. You know, I said, well, I'll join the service after praise, you know, because I'm not a good singer. Oh, my Amen. God. I'll do it afterwards. You know, yeah. well, let me, let me, let me, I wrote it here somewhere, but praise. It's not just a, a stir up part of the service, you know. It, it, it is the service. Amen. It is the service. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It says praise and worship is not just a warm up for church service. That's it. Amen. It's not just a warm up. Amen. So you got to join in the uh -huh. whole thing. God's going to be there and he's going to speak through whoever's up here. Yes. That anointed vessel is going to bring God's word and you got to listen. It says, you got something for me, Lord. Amen. Not for somebody else. You know, you got something for me. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to share it with somebody else. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. It says, it's praise are, is a spiritual weapon. Yes. So, you know, it's not, not just a m minor thing. It's a great yes. spiritual weapon that we can use. Prayer, praise. Those yes. are yes. spiritual weapons God has given us. Amen. Praise him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Look at this. Praise. Go ahead. Next one. Here. Praise. I wrote that for you so you can see what praise stands for. Praise is to is power released as I. Okay. I. You can put your name there. Power is released as I submit yeah. every day. I submit myself to him every day. You know, he woke me up this morning. And Lord, I submit myself to you. Whatever it is you want me to do, I'm available. Send amen. me, Lord. Send me, Lord. Amen. Every day, amen. The Bible, what the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in you. I will praise you, Lord. I want to praise you. Amen. So you be excited, amen. Hallelujah. He woke you up. He didn't wake you up just to be lazy. He didn't wake you up just for you to go and, and send some more. He woke you up so that you can go and do for him. Amen. Amen. But you got to be available and you got to go. So a praise is power released as I submit myself. You, not somebody else. Mm -hmm. You point at yourself. As I submit myself to him. Amen. Some show more reverence for the world than to God. Amen. Come on. Right. I don't want you don't want to hear that. But we you know we go and try to be the world pleasers instead of God pleasers. Yes. Amen. It says praise and worship is not a, a warm up uh, for, for church service. When you enter into his presence with praise, he enters into your circumstances with power. Power. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Are you going through some circumstances? Last week we talked we talked about trouble. It says when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. When trouble comes, we have one and two. Amen. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Those troubles are going to come. Yeah. And like, like the Bible says, it rains on the saved and the unsaved. 
So guess what? Trouble's going to come to the saved and the unsaved. Except if you're saved, if you're a believer, you should know what to do. Yes. You yeah. know, you're going to stop it and say, not here. Amen. Go to the next yeah, one. Here. Amen. You ain't, you ain't going to stop here. This is not the place for you. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the problem. Resist the devil. And he's got to go. Amen. You're sending to the wrong place. But you got to stand your ground. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep going. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God. Here we go. That's what I just said. When you enter God's presence with praise, so some of us need to learn how to praise. You know, we just don't want to lift our hands. I guarantee you, I've seen many, I've been to many ball games, okay, and I'm a sports mm. enthused. <laughs> I love all sports, but you know what they do? <laughs> they raise their hands. No. They clap, they dance, they mm. do all kinds of clown things, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been to concerts, man. Hey, hey, my heroes are singing, man. And we raise our hands. But he says, when you praise him, he says, when you enter your God's presence with presence with praise, he will enter your circumstances with power. Amen. Amen. He's with you. The Bible says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He is with you. <laughs> You are the body of Christ. The body, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. He goes where you go. Amen. And you know, sometimes we're worshiping the world more than we're worshiping Whoa. God. And he's knocking. You say, what about me? We play deaf. We don't We don't hear. We don't listen until we need something. Then all we right. want him to be there for us all yeah. the time, you know. <laughs> Keep going. Well, this is good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There's power and praise. It's got a scripture down there. It says Acts 16, chapter 16, verses 25 through 30. And I'll tell you what it's talking about. It's talking about Paul and Silas. <laughs> you know, they were, they, they, well, let me, let me, let me, let me go right to it. But it talks about they uh, delivered this young girl from an evil spirit. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like that. So right guess what? Right. <laughs> they didn't like that. And they beat them. And they put him in the in the in the, in the, in the prison, yeah, right. and they took him way down in the prison oh, in the yeah. dungeon, amen. And they put their hands in stock and their feet in stock. Guess what? They can't lift their hands. They can't do anything. They're they're bonds. Mm. But guess what? The only thing they could do is praise. They didn't complain. Right. Amen. They didn't. They weren't sad about it. They started praising God. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Mm, okay. <laughs> There you go. It says Paul and Silas in prison. You see? Their hands are bound together. Their, their, their feet are down in stocks, you know. Mm. So they can't stand up. They can't do anything except what? Mm. The only thing they know to do is to mm. praise God. Yes. And you think he's dead? He heard him. Yeah, the yeah. prisoners heard him. The jailer heard him. Yes. And God heard yeah. And he showed up. So whatever yes. circumstances you're going through, you know what? When you don't know what else to do, Pray, right. praise him, praise him, praise him. Mm -hmm. He's going to show up. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, uh, Psalms 104, Carmen, if you can find it. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. The Bible says in Psalms 100, uh, Psalm 100, verse 4 says, Enter his yes. gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. praise. Amen. Give thanks to him and praise yes, his amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, listen, the praise team, I wanted to thank the praise team because they sang a song that really blessed me. Well, all the songs they sang blessed me. But this one says, he's God on the mountain. Mm -hmm. It says, life is easy when you're up on the, on mountain. the mountain. Amen. Yeah. And you've got peace of mind yeah. like you've never known. Amen. And, but we forget. Amen. Yeah. We forget. You know, when we're up and everything's nice and comfy. Mm -hmm. You say, okay, thank you, Lord. I don't need you now. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go do my thing like the prodigal son. I don't need you now, Dad. <laughs> I've got what I want. Now I'm going to go and do all my sinning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> says, but when things change, uh -huh. and when you're down in the valley, you're going to find yourself, trouble's coming, trouble's come, trouble's come. When you're down in the valley, don't lose faith. Why? Because you're never alone. That's it. You know, I've heard a lot of people say this. You know, I feel so lonely. Mm. Well, you ain't lonely because you're not focusing on your God. Amen. He says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Guess what? He's always there. Mm -hmm. 
but we only talk to him when we want something. All right, come oh, on, yeah. Oh, come on. You know, right. we're lonely for the world. Mm. We want more of the world, mm. and we forget about our God. Yes. Come on, he says, don't lose faith because right. you're never alone. Hebrews 13, 5 says what? Mm -hmm. He says, I'll never leave you oh, nor forsake, forsake you. How can we forget that? Oh, I'm so lonely. Well, I guess you're not looking to the word. I guess yeah. you're not looking to him. That's it. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. He says, but the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. Yes, yes. he is. Don't forget it. You're going to have some ups and downs, mm -hmm. child of God. Yeah. But guess what? He's still the God on in the mountain and he's yeah. God in the valley. Says when things go wrong, he'll make it right. Yes, he will. I mean, he's going he's gonna to take care of you. And the God of the good times is your God in the bad times. Yeah. Let's not forget this. The God of the day is still God at the night. The night. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Psalms 114, James says, yes. Enter into his gates yes. with thanksgiving. Thanks, enter his courts with prayer. Praise. Be thankful unto him and, and bless his name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, let me, let me see what I've got here. When do we praise? Do we praise him when we're up on the mountain or do we praise him when we're down in the valley? <laughs> he says, times of abundance and blessings from heaven. Praise comes easy when life is easy. Very Very oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All is Very real. Very we recognize the Lord's presence with us. Our hearts are filled and we sing praises. Mm -hmm. We honor him and we love him. We honor him for his love, his blessings, and his favor on our lives. Amen. We magnify him and not the care and not the trouble, not the problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're there, but guess what? Hey, you don't belong here. When the mm -hmm. troubles come to knock and cares come to knock, mm -hmm. you say, uh-uh, go to the next place, yeah. not here. That's you it. don't stop here. Down in the valley, we do remember to My praise God. him then. We don't remember, amen? Mm -hmm. It says, mm -hmm. times when he seems so far away, mm -hmm. when cares, when worries, when troubles come, mm -hmm. we often forget the only one who can help. Yeah. Amen. We forget. We feel weary. We feel troubled. We feel, we feel tired, distressed, anxious, and down and out. Yes. And come on now. We focus right. on the trouble. We focus on the problem, mm -hmm. the hard times, the difficult times, all the misfortunes. You know what? The enemy comes to steal, kill, oh, and man. destroy. That's what the Bible says. And you know what? He's going to send his people mm -hmm. to come and let you know of your past. Right. So what do you mean you're doing this? What do you mean you're going here? What do you mean mm -hmm. you're doing better? Remember the past. Remember, they, they want you to be down and out. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. And the enemy is going to send his people. Mm -hmm. If you're not for God, you're his. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to send people to remind you. So you got to be careful. Say, wait, well, you know what? That's my past. My past is gone. Second Corinthians five seventeen says, Amen. "The old is out, the new is in." Yes. So I'm not going back to the old. If I, if you given given it to Jesus, surrender yourself to Him, mm -hmm. then He says, "You're my child now." The old is gone, the new is in. So yes. praise God. And you know what He says? He says, "Praise me and press on, press on, press on, and press on." Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Magnify the problem instead of Him. Praises can be your spiritual weapon. Yes. Hallelujah. And that's where. Paul and Silas, you know, they were traveling on their second mission trip, and they delivered this servant girl who was possessed by an evil spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Paul miraculously delivered her in the name of Jesus, and they had <laughs> no time to celebrate. You know why? <laughs> they were seized, they wrongly accused, and severely beaten. Yes. After being thrown in prison, the jailer placed them in the inner, Terrible. inner, inner, inner cell. Yes. Fastening their feet in stocks, praising God uh, yes. might not have seen the right thing. You know what? Praising God was not their first thing to think about. <laughs> wow, would it be yours? Come on, I, I could have done better. You think you could have done better? You think that being beaten and being pushed down and and all these things come against you? You think the praise was the first thing on their minds? I say, oh my God, you got to get the right mind. You got to get the mind of Christ. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> But they started praising God. It says Acts uh, chapter sixteen and verse twenty five says, "At the midnight, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard." So you know what? If you sing and somebody hurts you, that means you're not whispering. 
Uh -huh. That means you're not just there. It's singing in your mind. Yeah. That means they were loud. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many cells was there, but if it's a prison, there's a lot of cells. And they were singing. They were praising God. Mm -hmm. And the prisoners heard. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I say, it's in there, Carmen. It says, uh, Paul and Silas could have looked at the ter their terrible and hopeless situation. What about you? Quit looking at your hopeless situations and start singing praise unto him. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Well, sing praises to him. Yes. Amen. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, I need you. Mm. You think maybe Jesus, as he walked the earth, mm. raised his hands and said, Father, I need your strength. Amen. You think it's easy to go knowing that you're going to be sacrificed? You think oh. that's easy knowing each day comes? You're going to be sacrificed. You're going to give yourself up and surrender yourself. I said, you got to be strong. Lord, I need your strength. I'm going to do what you want me to do. But Lord, I need your strength. You know he's with you because he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. Amen. Yeah. So, but instead, they chose to sing praises mm. for their blessings. Mm -hmm. Imagine the impact of their witnesses upon those that were listening. Yeah. The impact they had on the prisoners. The impact they had on the jailer. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you could be an impact witnesses for Jesus. He says, you're my ministers of reconciliation. You're my body. You're the body of Christ. You're my church. And I want you to go and preach the gospel to every, man, every person out there. Unsaved person out there. Amen. So glory to God. God acts powerfully on your behalf. On your behalf for those who believe. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise means to greatly value God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Said Paul and Silas know that praise is their only weapon. Yes. Their hands are bound. Their feet are bound. So guess what? <laughs> My mouth is still free. <laughs> I can still speak. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> so listen. Glory, the Lord. Bible says in Psalms 18, 21, it uh -huh. says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. They could have just said, started saying bad things to God and say, look, we're doing for you and look what happened to us. They could, have, they could have been complaining. Instead, they praised God. Yes. And they just didn't whisper. Yeah. They were loud because all prisoners heard them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. That was their only weapon. So guess what? Words are seeds. Words are powerful. Proverbs 18, 21. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said so. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Proverbs 18, 21. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, the correction. Pro Proverbs uh, 18, 21. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that was their only weapon. Uh -huh. But you know what? That's strong enough. Yes. Because you're yes. going to confess yes. and speak the word of God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And when you speak the word of God, it goes and accomplishes what yes. it's sent out to do. Yes. The word says. Amen. That's the Bible says, Lord. submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he has to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take authority. How do I take authority? I'm going to confess. Uh -huh. The word of God. I'm going to speak the word. And he has to bow down to yes. the word of God. Amen. Yes. Come on now. Praise so, God. Uh, they believe that God who rescued them in the past would rescue them again. Of course. Amen. You know, uh, when Moses leaped all them uh, people out of it, uh, Egypt, mm. how soon they forgot all uh -huh. the things God did for them. And they're complaining. <laughs> and they even say, man, we could go back. Yeah. Let's oh. find somebody else that could take us back. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's not forget what God has done for us. Mm -hmm. And Paul and Silas said, they didn't forget what God has done That's for right. us. That's right. He was there for us before. Yes, He'll be right. there for us again. Yeah. David said Thank before you. he went against the giant, he says, you know what? God was with me when the bear came. Uh -huh. God was with me when the lion, lion came. Yes. So you know what? He's going to deliver this uncircumcised yes. Philistine to me. Because okay. God is with me. Know who your God is and know he's backing you. Amen. And know who you are in Christ. Amen. Amen. You're not a wimp. Amen. You're somebody. That's it. <laughs> Going somewhere. Uh, Acts, Acts uh, 16 verse 26 says, Suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Hallelujah. I wonder why. It says, at once all prison doors flew open prison doors. and everyone's chain came loose. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. You think God was listening? 
Man, he was, he was tuned in. Yes, he you know, was. he's tuned in to you each and every day. And you know, he's waiting for you to confess the word, speak the word. Yes, he is. And you haven't said anything. Uh. What is wrong with this person? What is wrong? Why are you not confessing my uh. word? Why are you not praising me why are you not visiting with me mm. you know he wants what he wants he wants relationships yes, yes, we're not we're not having relationships yes. we're having a relationship with the world and with worldly things but we're not having a relationship with him amen and he's waiting and you know what the bible says he's a jealous god yeah he is very jealous amen mm -hmm. so we need to focus on him and praise him says god's works a mighty miracle in answer to the faith of Paul and Silas. And their, their hymns of praise shut down the enemy's attempt to keep them in prison. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, physically you say, man, ain't no way we can get out of this. Mm. Huh? How, what do you think Jonah thought about when he was in the belly of a big fish? <laughs> he said, how do I get myself out of this? How do I get out of here? <laughs> many, many of God's heroes, God believers, you know, uh -huh. found themselves in situations, you know, yeah. where... Like, uh, okay, uh, God, <laughs> you know, and God delivered them. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> In prison, it says, with great power, it says, God shook the prison's foundations and broke the chains of bondage. Mm -hmm. They are free. Our praises bring glory to God. Amen. So, yes. you know what? Those chains of bondage that's been holding you down mm. no longer have to be there. That's right. You start that's praising that's Him, that's man. Them chains of bondage have to go. Yes. You know, uh, that deliverance from drugs, alcohol, yes. whatever situation, yes. you know, all of us have different things that are holding us, yes. you know. Yes. Don't let them things hold you down that's anymore. It. You start praising Him. Start thanking Him, you know. Yes. And those chains have to they have to go. Yes, they have yes. to fall. Just like he delivered Paul and Simon. Yes, and all they did was praise. Yeah. They couldn't get up. They couldn't move. They couldn't raise their hands. Oh, all they did was sing, sing praises yes, to them. Praises. Amen. But they were not shy. You know, we, we, mm -hmm. we get shy around people saying, well, I can all sing so good, you know. So what? Uh, <laughs> sing good or bad, I'm going to sing. They say, I'm singing to my God. My God is pleased. So Amen. you can move if you want. Yes, but I want to sing. <laughs> in praise, we come into His mighty presence, yes, and we uh, unite our spirits with His. Yes. We you. remember His mighty power to act on our behalf. Uh -huh. We turn our focus upon His victory yes. instead of our circumstances. Yes, yes. And we're focusing on Him mm -hmm. and the victory that He had. You know, the, the cross is not a sign of defeat. That's it. It's oh, a sign of it. victory. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 so. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we woke and focused on the victory. You ever heard that song, Victory in Jesus? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. My Savior forever. Amen. Amen. So we're focused on the victory and not the circumstances, not the difficult times or the times times I was down and out. Uh -huh. Praise is a spiritual weapon against the enemy. Yes. You know, when he hears praise, to submit yourself to God, I'm going to yeah. sing praises unto him. And the enemy said, he's got to flee. He don't want to hear it because no. we're worshiping and praising our God. Amen. Mm -hmm. James 4, 7, and 8 in New King James says, Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he's got to flee. Yes. In verse 8 says, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, yes. and purify your heart, you double-minded. And listen to it in the uh, easy-to-read versions. It says, uh -huh. So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil, and he'll run away from you. Uh -huh. says, come near to God, and he will come near to you. Yes. You are sinners. So clean, clean sin out of your lives. You're trying to follow God in the world at the same time. Yes. Make your thinking mm -hmm. pure. Yes. Amen. He knows your thoughts. Yes. <clears throat> so get yourself right with him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Since God inhabits our praises, the enemy will have to take a flight. Uh -huh. Darkness must depart from the presence of mm -hmm. light. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know what? You're the good news to this bad world. Right. <laughs> yeah. To this bad news. You know, that's all you have is bad news. But you're the good news. You're bringing yeah. the gospel, the gospel, the good news to them. Amen. And you are his light. Amen. Yeah. So darkness has to flee. 
Yes. That's the, you know, flee don't mean to just walk away right. you know, or crawl away. It's a flee means you gotta right. get yeah. and go quick. Yeah. It's got to go. Psalms thirty four and one says this: I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at some times. Yeah. At all times, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. mouth. Amen. Yeah. Again, Proverbs eighteen twenty one <laughs> says, "Death." And life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. And your tongue speaks yes. words. Uh -huh. Amen. So his, uh, where was it? I will shall praise him continually. Uh -huh. His pra excuse me. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh -huh. I'm going to speak him out. His word is going to be continually in my mouth. I got to speak it out. But in order for you to speak it out, you got to study, yes. meditate, and Get the word in you, and you gotta speak it out. Just, mm -hmm. just don't hold it in. You gotta speak it out. Amen. Praise God. That power that is in praise. What power there is in praise, whether up on the mountain or down in the valley. Mm -hmm. When we sing praises to God, our faith is deepened. Yes. We discover His peace in the midst of our trials. Amen. Let us let us remember our spiritual weapon, yes. as David proclaimed in Psalms 34 and 1. Let us praise the Lord yes. always, not only sometimes, not only when we want something. You know, don't you think he knows what you're doing? <laughs> We're trying to play games with him like we play with the world. He knows you. Uh -huh. Amen. He knows all your faults. He knows everything about you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But guess what? He loves you the most. Yes, he does. Amen. Father sacrificed his only son. And Jesus gave, uh, gave his life for us. And now we're trying to play a game for him, you know. Mm -hmm. In case you don't know, you need to write this down. Praise shows your appreciation, your yeah. gratitude for what God has done. Yes. Amen. That's praise. I, mean, I don't know what praise is. But <laughs> praise is showing appreciation and gratitude for what God has done. Worship is just honoring God for who he is. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And there's a lot of people out there that don't do this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they worship other things other besides things. him. Gratitude is this. It's a feel of thankfulness, appreciation uh -huh. as for gifts of favor. Amen. So God delights in our attitude of gratitude. Yes. You show your attitude of gratitude, you know. You show it for the world. It's time we show it for our God. You know, he's brought you this way. He's brought you all the way here. And he's not going to leave you there. Amen. He wants you to press on. Press on. He's not looking for somebody else. He called to you. Each and every one of us. To be winners. To be champions for him. Amen. So show your attitude of gratitude. Amen. If you're going to have an attitude. Have an attitude of gratitude. And say thank you Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Whether it's daylight saving times or, or not. You know. He <laughs> wakes you up. Amen. And you know. Amen. He says this is the day the Lord has, has made. I'm going to rejoice I'm and I'm going to praise him. Yes. Amen. That's what we need to do. Thank you for waking me up. You know what? If I'm awake, if I'm still here, that means he's not finished with you. So don't go try to check it out yourself before your time. When he's ready for you, he'll call you home. Yes. Amen. Amen. Before then, just occupy and say, I can do all things through Christ. Lord, I'm here. I make myself valuable. Use me. And he wants to use you. Don't exclude yourself. Include Amen. yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're created to praise Him. You were created to praise Him. You know, there's a scripture. I've got a scripture here, but it says, you know, if, if you don't worship me, if you don't praise me, He says, those stones will praise me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. I, mean, I don't want no stone doing my praising for me. Amen. I guarantee you there's a lot of ungodly things. Yeah, but there we go. Since what He says, if they get quiet, the stones would do it for them. It says, <laughs> shouting praise, Luke 19, 40. You know, this is uh, right before uh, Jesus came into Jerusalem. You know, yes. they welcomed him as king of kings, you know. And the next week, they're crucifying him. And it's coming up, you know, Easter coming up this month. But still, the Pharisees say, they didn't like that. He says, you know, these guys, they shouldn't be doing that, you know. Mm. They complain. He says, they shouldn't be worshiping you. Mm. And Jesus says, if they don't worship me, he says, the stones will do it for them. Yes. 
Hallelujah, you know, hey. <laughs> Woo. Man, that is, that is, that is awesome. Yes, it is. So I'm going to take you a little deeper here, but it says John 4, 23 and 24, New Living Translation. But the time is coming indeed. It's here now. The true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. It says the Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. And verse 24 says, For God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. There it is. <laughs> First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 says, Be, says, always be joyful. So why do you say I'm so sad, you know? You know, we hear things or we see things, and you're going to be sad as long as you're trying to please the world. Uh -huh. The things are still going to come to us, but still we're focused on Him. He says, yeah. "Be here it is, be joyful. Always keep on praying. Uh -huh. Pray without ceasing." He says, Praise "18 God. says, no matter what happens, always be thankful, yeah. for this is God's will for you Amen. who belong to Christ Jesus." Amen. Here we go, right here. First Thessalonians five sixteen through eighteen says, "Rejoice always." Huh. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. And you're going to have circumstances all the time. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> for this is God's mm -hmm. will for you yes, in is. Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. So it's telling us what to do here. And of course, Hebrews 13 and 15 says this. Therefore, be, and therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise yes. to God. Yeah. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks. Amen. Isn't that awesome. Yeah. That's the yeah. fruit of our lips. Giving praise to Him. Giving thanks to His name. Amen. So what can I say? Say the right things. Yes. Speak the right things. Put a guard on your lip. Oh, man. Amen. Praise don't let God. trash come out. Yes. Don't let it. Don't let the wrong words uh, come out. You can Amen. stop them. You know. Yes. Used to let them come out. I don't let them come out no more. You put a guard. Amen. Yes. And just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. That's it. That's it. Amen. We got to train ourselves. <laughs> this is called maturity. We're yes. maturing in the things of God. Yes. I used to say those. I don't say them anymore. Amen. Amen. That means Amen. you're growing. You're growing. You're growing. Amen. Amen. Since this people Amen. I have formed myself, they shall declare my praise. That's yes. uh, New King James. And the easy to read version says this. Isaiah 43, 43 and 21. I made them and they will sing songs of praise yes. to me. Songs of Amen. praise to me. Isaiah Amen. chapter 43 verse uh, 21. Yes. Some have been taught about, some have never been taught about praise and worship. Be, uh, mm -hmm. They become spectators. Mm -hmm. Just watching, being outsiders, being an audience, being viewers, just looking. All right. Amen. Just judging and saying things they ain't supposed to. Uh -huh. But you know what? When you're too busy being a spectator, you're not going to receive anything uh -huh. from God. That's it. How was service? How was the message? Huh. Yes. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what he talked about. No, you're too busy being a, a spectator. You're too busy being a, 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 a busybody. We're not, you're not sent to be a spectator. You're That's sent it. to be a participator. Participate. Participate. Amen. I mean, get involved. And participator says, partake, join in, get involved, contribute, take part. Uh -huh. Amen. Take part in it. You know, I'm a, if I have to, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> and if you're in the back and you're seeing all these things happening, move to the front. Yes. <laughs> Get in the front, you know, where you can't see nobody except you and close your eyes and you and God. That's it. And worship Him, you know. And you know what? If you're doing this, the rest can see you. All that you see of you is being a fool up there. He was just dancing. He was just raising his hands. He was clapping. And what was you doing? A fool for Jesus. Yeah, yeah being a fool. <laughs> Praise oh, being a fool for Jesus. That's okay. We can be fools for the world, be fools for the wrong things, or you can be a fool for Jesus. That's okay. Yes. Amen. It says, spectators, you're watching, you're being an outsider, you're viewing onlookers, 
and sitting comfy uh -huh. instead of participating yeah. or entering in. They don't know that singing, shouting, dancing, clapping, lifting of your hands, and using instruments are all scriptural. Yeah. And they're in the Bible. Yeah. It's okay to do these things. You know, somebody yeah. tells you, you can't clap, <laughs> you can't dance, you know, uh, you can't shout, you can't clap your hands, uh, or you, 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 you can't do these things. Mm. And then you ask them, mm -hmm. do you have scripture for it? Yeah. Oh, no, but uh, that's the way we do here. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to find me another place. Yeah. I'm going to find me another place because it's not scriptural. And I'm going to give you some scriptures in a minute. <clears throat> so we're going to be talking about expressions of worship. Mm -hmm. Expressions of worship through body expressions. Mm -hmm. The Bible shows us that servants of God worship Him not only with words, but also mm -hmm. use their very bodies to demonstrate yes. their devotions to God. Yes. Here are some examples of physical postures used to expressions of worship. Mm -hmm. And if you have something to say about this, I'll say this much. I've seen you on the dance floor. I've seen you at the I've seen you on the ball I've seen you at the ball game. I've seen you at all these gatherings. And I've seen you full of liquor. <laughs> and you was being a fool. And you was worshiping the world. And you were dancing. And you was clapping. And you was doing all kinds of things. Ripping your clothes off. And you can't come to church and do those things. But you can do them in public. And everybody's watching you and everybody's talking about, yeah, about you. Yeah. And then you know what? When you sober up, when you come off your high, people are going to let you know. Oh, and guess God. what? You're going to do it again. Mm. But you won't do it for God who sacrificed his son, Jesus, who gave his life. And you have salvation through him. Yes. <clears throat> huh. Singing. Isaiah uh, chapter 12, verse 5. Psalms uh, 9, 11. These are not all the scriptures. These are some scriptures, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we can't use all scripture, okay? And shouting, Psalms 33 and 1. Psalms uh, 98 and 4. Mm -hmm. Dance, Psalms uh, 150 and 4. Yes. Amen. Yes. King David, dance. Okay? Uh -huh. So it's okay. Yeah. I've seen you on the dance floor. You need some lessons. <laughs> we can dance with the Lord. You know? He don't mind how you dance. He just wants you to dance. We can do these For things him. under Him. Under Him. Amen. And if you don't like it, I'm not trying to please you. No, right. I'm not trying to please the world. I'm pleasing my God and being grateful and with an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Since lifting up your hands, Psalms 141 and 2. Yes. Clapping of your hands, Psalms 47 and 1. Bowing, bowing. If you don't bow now, you will. Yeah. <laughs> you will. And you, and you, and you have a meal for anybody. Oh, you will. Meal. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Bowing down, Psalms 95 and 6. Kneeling, Psalms 95 and 6. Dan, Psalms 149 and 3. 150 and 4. Musical yes. Instruments, Chronicles 13 8. Psalms 108 2. And Psalms 150 uh, 3 through 5. Yes. Amen. Yes. Well, we don't use those instruments in church. Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> well, show me what it so says in the Bible. Not to use them. I got instruments right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got instruments I can sing. Amen. Praise God. I can lift my hands. So the Bible tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy yes. Ghost. Thank and we Lord. should glorify God with yes. our bodies. Amen. First Corinthians 6, mm -hmm. chapter 6, verses 19 through 20. Use our biblical examples to express your joy Amen. and reverence for Him. Yes. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Thank you. It's okay. Jesus. If you didn't know this before, now you know it. Amen. So don't let it stop you. Amen. And say, well, we don't do it in, in our place or our church. Then go somewhere else. <laughs> you know, you know, you found out it's a scriptural. Yes. And if they're against the word of God, uh -huh. then go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. That's Amen. It. 
Go find you a place where they're teaching the word of God. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. Not where they're trying to please people. Oh my goodness. Amen. Remember, uh -huh. we're warriors of God. Yes. Yes. You come in here yes. to be in, empowered. Empowered. Amen. So you can go and do what Amen. you need to do. That's not it. entertain. That's it. We don't entertain you. We empower you Power. with the word of God. I don't do it. He does it. He speaks through me. And I just yield Thank myself. You. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, some show more reverence for the world than for God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lift the hands, clapping, bowing, kneeling, dancing. Some skip, dissect, judge parts of church services. If you're doing all this, you're just being a spectator. Right. Amen. Some choose different uh, denominations. Some that doesn't offend or challenge things. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, is that really what God wants you? Yeah. I pray. I, be, I want to be where God wants me yeah. to go. Thank you, Lord. Be very small. You know, mm -hmm. we're a small church. I tell you this all the time. You can write this down. We're a small church with a big God. Yeah. Yes. Amen. My God is always big. And my God is always bigger than Amen. any mountain. My God is bigger than any problem. Yes. But just because you're a small church doesn't mean your God is little. That's right. Amen. That's We're a small church with a big, big God. God. Amen. We pray, you know, that mega church, they pray to their God is the same God we pray to. Mm -hmm. So they got a mega church, we got a little church. We're still honoring God. And Amen. we're still going to praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So praise the size God. doesn't you, matter. That's it. Amen. We're Hallelujah. still going to praise Him. <laughs> And he's still going to visit with us. Yes, he Amen. <laughs> Praise and worship is not just a warm up for church service. Right. We invite the Lord. We invite him to come join us. Amen. Yes. He's here to stay for the whole service. Not just part of the service. You know, he just don't come here and praise and worship and then he leaves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, he's here for whole service. Amen. Whole service. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He, he comes and he stays. And you know what I do before I come up here? I always say, Lord, you're welcome in our service. Have your way, Lord, in this service. Amen. It's his service. It's not my service. <laughs> it's his. He uses me. I'm just a yielded vessel speaking God's word. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Revelation 3 and 20 says this. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, you scratch anyone, put your name there. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, right. he says, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Right. He's knocking at your door. You know, you have been running away from mm. but you're not letting him in. He's not going to come against your will. Your will is to keep that door shut. It's going to stay shut. Amen. He come. Maybe one day you'll stand before him, you know, and, and he'll ask you. I knocked on your door all this time. Want to have a relationship with you, but you never open your door. Why? You're going to have to answer to him. Amen. If he's knocking, mm. and he's been knocking all this time, yeah. guess what? You better let him in. Mm -hmm. He's the one that can help you. He's the one that can solve and deliver you from all these things, but you're not letting him in. The world, the enemy are seeing to it that you stay in bond, huh. that you stay in in, in prison all this time amen but you need you need to change that amen and invite him to come and be your lord and savior amen, amen. and start amen. doing for him again i've told you at the beginning he didn't put you here to be a loser uh -huh. a quitter he put right. you here to be a champion to be a winner for him amen amen so let's remember this as we close amen. <laughs> and we'll continue this with uh <laughs> praise too Amen. But if you've never done this before, don't exclude yourself. You're looking at your physical self and saying, I can't clap, I can't, or whatever you've been excluding yourself about. Huh. Let it go and start uh -huh. doing for him. He's been waiting for you to praise him. Yeah. Amen. He's been waiting for you. Huh. So we need to give ourselves, amen, yield to him. It's time that you let him in. And start living for him and not for yourself. He can solve all your circumstances. He can solve all your problems. Amen. So praise God if you get anything. Yes. <laughs> yes. So praise God. Remember, praise is is, is a, uh, a spiritual weapon. It's not yes. just a, well, you know, we just come and sing a few songs for God. And, and, no, no. 
Don't see it that way. That's it. We're worshiping Him. We're thanking Him. Amen. Amen. We're praising Him. So praise God. Amen. Those yeah. of you watching, those of you listening, it's time to start well, running. And yes. It's time to give yourself, surrender yourself, yeah. and, and, and say, well, I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior, Lord. Yes. And I want to start praising you from this yes. day on. Yes. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Get yourself to a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And not just uh, tradition things, ways, you know. But yes. they start preaching from the Word of God and Amen. teaching from the Word of God so that you can grow and mature in the things of God. Amen. Yes. Ooh, grow Thank and go for God. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Praise if you have sickness God. in your body, Again, the Bible just tells us by Jesus Christ I'm healed. Yes. So we need to speak healing over our bodies. Amen. Amen. I speak healing over my body each and every day. Because my body tries to tell me different things. But I say, wait a minute. I receive no malfunctions in my body. I want every part of my body to function the way God created to function. Amen. So I yes. speak healing over my body in Jesus' name. So sickness, go yeah. in Jesus' name. I my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, so he didn't give me sickness. There's no sickness in hell. I mean in heaven. There's, <laughs> there's, no, there's no sickness in heaven that God can give to us. Amen. Don't say God is putting this to show me something. He put it on Jesus on the cross. Yes, he did. He put all sickness on Jesus. All the stripes that Jesus wore took at the cross, you know, is he paid for it all. Yeah. Amen. So sickness. You have no part of me. I rebuke sickness. I it's got to go in Jesus' name. So I speak healing over myself. I speak healing for all those of you that are watching. Yes. All those of you that are listening. I speak yes. healing over your body. Whatever that sickness is, it's Praise got God. to go. Yes. Amen. No sickness in this holy vessel of God. Amen. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. In giving, yes. just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. Thank you, Lord. If you mail it, NBC yes. PO Box 252, Mark for Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen. And continue to praise in church. Amen. Amen. God bless. Amen.